Hey y'all, it's another travel day. I stayed at the Motel 6 last night because it was raining like nobody's business. So I decided to stop in Cheyenne and stay the night and I'm getting ready to get back on the road, headed west. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will check in with you later. Bye. Hey, I'm back. So I was traveling along 80 east, or excuse me, westbound, and I saw this sign for the Washington Lincoln Monument, excuse me. And it's part of the Purple Heart Trail. So there's a little rundown for the Purple Heart. And then there's a quote from our first president of the United States, George Washington, right there. Let it be known that who wears the military order of the Purple Heart has given his blood in defense of his homeland and shall forever be revered by his fellow countrymen. So, and then they have this monument of Lincoln. We're going to show you the front of it. I thought it was kind of interesting to stop here. I've never stopped here before. Always wanted to stop here before. It's actually part of the rest area, which is over there. So you can have a picnic and relieve yourself and all that good stuff. There's Highway 80 right down there. And I saw something this morning, because I'm going this route, that Highway 80 is closed at Laramie. So I may have to take an altern alternate route. So there's good old Honest Abe right there, looking over Highway 80, hoping that everybody is safe. And there's a plaque right there. Let's see if we can get close enough so we can see it. It's in the shade, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it. We must think anew and act anew. Abraham Lincoln, 1809 to 1885. This monument commemorates the sesquintential, <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right, of Lincoln's birth by the state of Wyoming. 1959, Wyoming State Parks Commission has all of the important folks on there. So, Lincoln Monument. Cool. All right, we're gonna get back on the road. There's the Wyoming flag underneath the US flag. nice view of Highway 80. I was going to try and get some, there were some windmills along my trip and I couldn't get my camera on fast enough to catch it. So, I'm sure once you've seen one wind, windmill, you've seen them all, right? <laughs> anyway, we're going to head to the facilities and back on the road. So I'm still inside the Lincoln Monument, just did my do. Just checking out some stuff inside here. And I also saw a sign that said, this is the highest point along Highway 80. There's the Devil's Tower. Oops, getting a glare. And Old Faithful in Yellowstone. Been there, I finally got to see it go off. Been there many times, but last year was the first time I got to see Old Faithful go out. And this is kind of cool. This is like a, they got like a 3D thing going on. Don't know if you can see it with the glare. Mr. Buffalo right there. 
Hey, Mr. Buffalo. And they got stuff about the surrounding area. And I think I already have a Wyoming map, but I was looking to see if they had one here, which I don't see one. But I can always go to AAA and grab one. And there's more information, road information. Trying to hold my camera steady there so you can see it. So anyway, this is the rest stop at the Lincoln Monument heading west on Highway 80. Showing you where campgrounds are, where unpaved roads and all that good stuff. So I'm probably gonna take State Highway 30. So like I said earlier, when I looked at my GPS, it said that 80 was closed at Laramie. So we're gonna check that out. And if it is, you know which way I'm going. All right, on the road again. We're gonna head on down the road again. There's our flags again. And there's Mr. Lincoln watching over 80. And I don't know if I said this, but it said that this stop along the route is the highest point along Highway 80, which there's some more mountains that are taller than where I'm at right now, so go figure. <laughs> anyway, back on the road, me and Pearl on the road again. Hey you guys, I'm back. I stopped in Evanston to show you that the park that I stayed at when I was here before, I didn't get a chance to film when I was here because it was dark and like I told you in the video before, it was tequila day so I was probably feeling it that way. Anyway, it's the Phillips RV Park and I'll show you where I put my tent up. It's, um, they have a lot of trees here a lot more than the KOA that I stayed at in, um, where was it that I stopped at? I'll have to look at the video and see. But that KOA had no trees for the RVers at all. This one has lots of trees, lots of trees. So we drove down through here. Now I'll show you where my, where my tent site was when I was here. Dang it, I can't remember the town that I was in. It was in, oh, Agalala, that's what it was. The KOA in Agalala had no trees at all. So at least this one, for the RVers, they have trees. So you have to run your air conditioner all the time if you don't want to, to keep yourself cool. The bathrooms are over there. In that building anyway here's where the tent sites were or are and I parked right over here in this one so I set my tent up right over in there in that area and uh, yeah so that's where I camped here in Evanston when I came and the bathrooms are right over there. At least that's where the ladies' room is, right there. And the men's on the other side. And they've got a little, I'm just gonna walk, there's nobody here. So I'm just gonna walk right on through the site since nobody's here. And show you the playground for the kids. Got some swings and a slide, a plastic one, which is good so they don't get burnt on the metal ones out here playing. That's the playground. And it's in the in the sandy area. And they've got pull through sites it looks like and also back in ones which you 
saw over here where those two are. Pull through sights. I don't know what the if they're 30 amp or 50 amp or whatever, but you can hook up. I'm hooked up to water and all that good stuff. And if I remember correctly, there was like a little river or something that ran back behind here. I'm gonna double check just to make sure. But it was a good little overnight place and they've got grass so you're not in the gravel which is nice Let's see what we got back here because so I remember when I went to go get my alcohol at that place that I showed you in the video when I was on my way east I had to go over a bridge so I don't know if there were railroad tracks or if there was a creek or a river or something that was back here I have it fenced off so I probably won't be able to see it anyway even if there is anything back here but we're gonna take a look anyway we need to walk around anyway after all that driving See if I even hear any water. Let's see. Oh, no, it just looks like it's a storage yard. Anyway, I was I stand corrected. There was no river back here. Just a storage yard for big trucks and whatever. So that's a little bit of the Phillips campground just wanted to show you I wanted to be a woman of my word I feel like she said she was going to show us that campsite and we didn't even get to see it well now you did so there this guy's pulled in the other way oh. all the other guys are facing out He's facing in. Okay, to each their own, I guess. You want to do it that way? Do it that way. You're on vacation, so you can do it however which way you want to do it. Anyway, that's a look at this campground. <laughs> Guy just giving me the side eye. <laughs> <laughs> People are funny. Anyway, that's the name of this tune. I'll check in back with you guys later. I think I'm going to bed down in Boise again at my friend's house. They were kind enough to let me stay there. So I think I'm going to do that again. My friends Matt and Sharon. Oh, to the lady Kim that I spoke to. Well, she came to my campsite when I stayed at the Covert Park and I camped and I hung out with her and her friend Dina and her friend Pat, Kim. I did not have a signal there at the park. And when you called my phone, it did not capture your number. So if you could please, 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 because I know you have my number, because you put it in your contacts. If you would please give me a call so I can get your number, I would really appreciate it because I would like to stay in touch with you. You are a really nice lady. You let me hang out with you guys. And uh, yeah, good people are good people. And you wanna have as many good people in your life as possible. You can never have too many good people. So. If you watch this video, Kim, please give me a call. You have the number, use it. <laughs> anyway, that's my little tour of Phillips RV Park. There's the office right there. And what I did was I got here late when they were closed. So they do it on the honor system. And if you're not here, you can drop your money in after hours. 
if you're a, a Good Sam's member, they give you a discount. I think I paid $28 for my campsite um, when I was here. So you can stick it right in there if you arrive late. And there were envelopes in there before. I don't see any in there now, but that being said, if uh, some of these nice people that are camping over here just knock on, on their door, and if they have an envelope, I'm sure they'd be happy to help you here at the Phillips RV Park here in Evanston, Wyoming. When I got here, I needed change and the office was closed and I didn't want to go back out again. So there are some people camping in the site, not too far from where I was camped, right over there. And I asked them if they had change for, and they had it and they gave me change. So I wouldn't have to go back out. So again, there are nice people out here and they're willing to help in most cases. So anyway, I'm gonna get back on the road, headed west. Go west, young lady, go west. That's where I'm going, I'm going west. Going a different route, but again, I'm going west. I hope you all are having a great day and I'll check in back with you later.